Hello, I'm Tom, saxophone specialist here at Howitha London. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Salma saxophones, in particular the Mark VI, which I've got one right here. Uh, so these started production in 1954 and ran for about 20 years, so they're what we call vintage horns. They took over from the super balanced action, which was quite a big, core, large sound. And they, they, they made a lot of changes to this design. They uh, changed the flare of the bore, the, the neck and the body uh, boring, which allowed it to be a little brighter and more responsive. They also worked on the intonation as well, so these were uh, a lot more fun to work with. Um, one of the main features that uh, changed, I think, for these horns of Selma is the offset of the keys. You may notice the left and right stack is offset like a modern horn, off by about 30 degrees, allowed for faster technique uh, and a more, more ergonomic feel. So, what do you look for when you're buying a vintage horn? Firstly, has it been overhauled uh, recently? What are the pad conditions like? Uh, often it's worth just taking it down to a shop to check over first to just check the playing condition because they're only as good as their last repair. Uh, secondly, the condition of the lacquer. Uh, this arguably affects the tone, but uh, more the sale value. Uh, one thing that affects the value with these horns is also the serial number because the age of the horn affects how close it was to iconic jazz players, models. But the most important thing is how does it play? So I'm gonna be playing a few of these now and uh, you can have a listen for yourself. <laughs> Mark VI has some very famous uh, classical and jazz musicians that play them. Some iconic players like Sonny Rollins famously never let his Mark VI lead his side. Um, you also have players like Michael Brecker, who we know is very uh, technically uh, well, on the level of God. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so these horns definitely fly around even into the altissimo. So I've got another Mark VI here, this one with the uh, silver keys. They have quite a few options with the key work and the lacquer. And the engraving, you may notice some difference in the engraving as well with these ones. Um, they were handmade, which what, what makes them so unique is uh, even on the same day, the same production line, you'll find that each one had its own little nuances and its sound inflections, um, which makes them all the more special when you find a good one. Uh, this one, I've noticed that the, uh, the pearls have been slowly worn away as the uh, players over the years have played them. It gives a very comfortable feel on the, on the fingers. I'm going to give this one a play. So there you go, the Mark VI, uh, a classic instrument, vintage, a lot of fun to play, very interesting. Uh, so one to consider when upgrading to a pro level instrument.